हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर सिद्धेश्वर बी तुजापुर असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ लीनियर हाइड्रोलिक एक्चुएटर द लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ linear hydraulic actuator and you will also come to know the role of each of these components the contents are introduction then definition of linear hydraulic actuator basic types of linear actuators then velocity of piston force of piston and then lastly the references introduction hydraulic actuators are devices which convert liquid energy into mechanical energy liquid energy conversion into mechanical energy means liquid energy it is in the form of pressure energy and mechanical energy it is in the form of the linear or rotary actuator okay that is pressure energy is being converted into linear or rotary actuators in the hydraulic uh, rotary motion in the hydraulic actuators so now we are going to have linear hydraulic actuator means hydraulic actuators which convert liquid energy into linear motion we are not concerned with now rotary motion so linear motion it is a mechanical energy so linear motion if it is output from that one and input is the pressure energy of the liquid that is oil so we are going to call that actuator as a linear hydraulic actuator so these are cylinder and pistons say the forward stroke and the backward stroke etc so these are taking place for the piston and we are supplying the pressurized oil and the unpressurized oil it is coming outside the say that cylinder let us see the construction and working of this uh, linear actuator so we are having the cylinder say this one it is having two ports one port on the left hand side and one port on the right hand side these are ports or holes through which the oil can enter into the cylinder and it can come also outside the cylinder then we are having the piston so which is shown in the red color now we can think of say the pressurized oil if it is entering through the left hand side port or hole into the cylinder the piston moves towards the right hand side this is called as either extension stroke or it is also called as forward stroke towards the right the oil which is available on the right hand side so it comes outside and due to the gravity it goes to the reservoir back then during the say return stroke we are having actually the shifting of the spool in the direction control wall so the oil supply will be to the opposite end so that is the rod end side we are having that is on right hand side the pressurized oil goes here and so exert the pressure on the piston so piston comes back to its original position whatever oil is here so it will come outside so this stroke it is called as retraction or it is called as also backward stroke of the piston okay. the basic types of linear actuators these are single acting cylinder double acting cylinder we are having so the acting word indicates use of pressure energy for linear motion single indicates direction so in one direction only that is so in one direction the movement of the piston it is occurring with the help of the pressure energy of the oil so generally the forward stroke double acting indicates two direction that is forward and backward stroke both the strokes are occurring with the help of the pressure energy of the oil so see here so earlier we have seen that cylinder and piston diagram so which was double acting so now we are go, we have gone for here it is single acting cylinder so only forward motion by the pressure energy of the oil it is going to take place so the construction wise difference you can observe here we are having only one hole at the left hand side port uh, left hand side so this end it is called as cap end and we are having the pressurized oil supply to this end the piston it is going to move towards the right hand side okay 
now when it goes to the right hand side piston moves to the right hand side that is the extension stroke occurs so the retraction stroke or the backward stroke also must occur okay the return stroke we are calling it as so you can think of in what different ways return stroke of the piston may take place we should have some arrangement for that one and in general we have seen uh, at number of places so we are having the automatic uh, retrieval of that particular object okay the different means for taking back the piston might be one it is say the weight we can make use or the gravity suppose the vehicles these are lifted with the help of the this cylinder and piston arrangement that is single acting cylinder and the supply of oil is there on the lower side here through this hole or a port the piston it will move vertically upwards it is going to say for this application that is the vehicle it is lifted for the servicing suppose so in case of this say when we are not supplying the oil to this port the weight due to the gravitational force so it is going to push the piston vertically downward and the piston it will come automatically to its original position so this you can call it as a gravity assisted or it is due to the weight it is coming but see that it should be uh, mounted in the uh, say the piston cylinder should be mounted in the vertical position only suppose we are not having the vertical position in that case what we can have is we can have the other means like say spring etc when we are supplying the pressurized oil to the left hand side port so what we are getting is the forward stroke of the piston we are getting the spring will get compressed when there is no supply of the oil so at that time the spring it will push the piston back to its original position so this spring we have shown it here inside the say cylinder it may be also externally mounted and we can have either the spring in the uh, outside the cylinder or inside the cylinder also the different arrangements we are having now let us see what is the area exposed to the pressurized oil in case of suppose that uh, double acting cylinder we are taking in case of that we are having the say the uh, pressurized oil supply to this end that is cap end so in case of this we are having say the area exposed as the cross section area of this cylinder or you can say that piston area okay then the extension stroke it is occurring okay so you can have the diameter of the piston as d then pi by 4 d square will be the area of the piston say during the return stroke when the supply of oil is to this port or a hole that is at rod end side so the say area of piston minus area of piston rod that is the cross section area as we are considering so cross section area of piston, uh, say area of piston pi by 4 d square minus area of the piston rod that is the cross section area of the piston rod we have to take this is say uh, the, you can see that the lesser area it is there on which the pressurized uh, oil it is acting when say retraction stroke it is taking place now the velocity of piston we will think of the continuity equation we are knowing say we have studied in fluid mechanics course it is q is equal to a into v so if yes, discharge is constant in case of that one the q it is remaining constant we are saying velocity of oil in the cylinder it is dependent on the area exposed to the oil pressure okay so during the forward stroke you can observe now here area and velocity these will be inversely proportional to each other means if area is more the velocity it will be lesser and vice versa so area more it is during the forward stroke so the oil pressure it is acting on the complete uh, area of the piston so the air area it is more as compared to during the forward backward stroke so the slower movement will be there and during the backward stroke area on which it is that oil it is acting so it is lesser and the backward stroke hence it will be faster in case of uh, say the force of the piston 
force developed by the piston or force due to the piston so force is equal to we are having pressure into area okay so here the pressure of oil it is constant so force will be proportional to this area so you can say that during the forward stroke what we are having is area is more so because of that one the more force will be developed so these forces can be used for the cutting strokes in the say metal operations etc so or where the force requirement it is more so forward stroke is it should be used and during the backward stroke it is already firstly it is faster and then secondly so as the area it is lesser so the force also will be lesser so less force will be developed by the piston during the backward stroke so velocity and piston both dependent on area and what we have observed is during the forward stroke velocity is lesser force is more and during the return stroke velocity is more and say the force is lesser you can have the speeds in both the directions and the forces also same by making the areas on which the oil pressure it is acting as same so it is a double acting cylinder just ports these are not shown here okay so the ports here one more one here and one here so two piston rods we are having on one on left hand side and one on right hand side and then we are going to have the same velocity and same force of the piston in both the strokes that is in forward stroke and the backward stroke these are the references used for this particular session thank you